What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. This room has been going on for about a week, and I, I didn't bother acknowledging them, so they're just stupid. And I still think that, but we'll go back to, to it. Um, Vancouver is looking for help up front. I mean, they should be looking for help just in general because the team sucks. Um, and they're, you know, they are essentially the worst team in the league. I'm in Carolina, and, uh, you know, they'd be better off just pulling the plug, getting, you know, moving on. Um, you know, getting the rebuild going, but Jim Benning's got to ride out the ship, you know, ride out the storm with the ship, and, uh, you know, I know statistically they're not the, you know, top, bottom two, but you catch my drift, they suck, and I'm sure even the most diehard fans of British Columbia will agree with me on that. Going a step further, supposedly, they would be willing to move, uh, Brock Besser or Ole Levy for help. Help. If Jim Benning were to move either one of those young players for, you know, in, in a, uh, help right now, he should be he should, he should be getting help. He should be institutionalized because that's just stupid. Um, you know, to sacrifice long term, you know, long term, you know, players that can you know really make a difference to your team for a short term fix. Um, you know, long term building blocks for a short term fix at this point in the game for this Canucks team is the definition of ludicrous. Like, this is really, really, really stupid. Because, I mean, what? Short of getting Sidney Crosby and Eric Carlson, uh, you're not turning this season around. It's, it's just, The team isn't that good. It, it's, it's not like me being a troll. to me stating a fact. This Vancouver Canucks team sucks. And, you know, maybe they play it over their heads for a little bit. Maybe they finish in the middle of the pack, which we've learned as Bruins fans sucks. Don't do that either because you're too good to be in the lottery and get really, really good young players, and you're not good enough to be in the playoffs or you're not good enough to make a, a run of it. You don't want to be in that spot. So, you know what? If Jim Benning wants to be in the middle of the pack, God bless him. But if he does it at the expense of, you know, Besser and or Levy, he's just an idiot. You know, I mean, what? Who's out there on the trade market that you know can make that would cost you this much? That's that expensive. That's that worth it. That can make your team that much better. You know, it's just dude, help forwards, top six forwards, puck moving defensemen. I mean, these are just buzzwords. I mean, you know, you need a hockey version of PFT commenter. You know, especially on the trade deadline, but like. What the fuck? I, I don't see it happening, but, you know, if... If he were to move Besser or Ulevi for, you know, someone to try to help them make some noise this season, which, by making noise, what's that mean? Finish two points out of the playoffs, maybe sneak in, get swept in four games by, you know, Chicago or, or whoever. I mean, you know, let's keep it in perspective here. But we'll see what happens. And again, if that were to be the case, I would really hope Vancouver Canucks fans would riot like it was a 2011 Stanley Cup final all over again, because that's something that warrants a riot. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens. But just such a weird circumstance with Vancouver. But anyway, that's all I got. Episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes of the season and beyond. Ladies.